Claims about rebels have proved a major obstacle to stability along the country's border. Khartoum has now threatened to shut down a pipeline that carries South Sudanese oil for export. It set a deadline of August 7th. The African Union is hoping to prevent that and is sending three senior military officers to investigate the claims. We believe that uh, shutting the oil was not meant to be an end in itself. It was really meant to alert Africa and the rest of the world to the seriousness of the situation. Here we are saying, yes, we acknowledge that the situation is serious, but beyond acknowledging, here we are working hard with the parties to dispel all uh, misunderstandings, allegations, and to come out with, with the truth. The panel will go into Sudan and South Sudan and has been given six weeks to report back. Regional powers are hoping the move will calm tensions. Our expectation is we hope there will be agreement on the uh, oil flow and then the continued implementation of the security arrangement and the border trade, which will also help in, you know, in uh, the uh, n continued negotiation on other uh, agreements and also implementation. The two countries signed a comprehensive peace deal last September, one brokered by the African Union. And the AU is determined to continue trying to find a lasting settlement between Khartoum and Juba. Groomjala CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.